Chapter 23 If a man's testicles are crushed or his penis is cut off, he may not be included in the assembly of the Lord. Those of illegitimate birth and their descendants for ten generations may not be included in the assembly of the Lord. No Ammonites or Moabites or any of their descendants for ten generations may be included in the assembly of the Lord. These nations did not welcome you with food and water when you came out of Egypt. Instead they tried to hire Balaam, son of Beor, from Pithor in Aram Naharaim, to curse you. But the Lord your God would not listen to Balaam. He turned the intended curse into a blessing because the Lord your God loves you. You must never, as long as you live, try to help the Ammonites or the Moabites in any way. Do not detest the Edomites or the Egyptians, because the Edomites are your relatives, and you lived as foreigners among the Egyptians. The third generation of Egyptians who came with you from Egypt may enter the assembly of the Lord. When you go to war against your enemies, stay away from everything impure. Any man who becomes ceremonially defiled because of a nocturnal omission must leave the camp and stay away all day. Toward evening he must bathe himself, and at sunset he may return to the camp. Mark off an area outside the camp for a latrine. Each of you must have a spade as part of your equipment. Whenever you relieve yourself, you must dig a hole with a spade and cover the excrement. The camp must be holy, for the Lord your God moves around in your camp to protect you and to defeat your enemies. He must not see any shameful thing among you, or he might turn away from you. If slaves should escape from their masters and take refuge with you, do not force them to return. Let them live among you in whatever town they choose, and do not oppress them. No Israelite man or woman may ever become a temple prostitute. Do not bring to the house of the Lord your God any offering from the earnings of a prostitute, whether a man or a woman, for both are detestable to the Lord your God. Do not charge interest on the loans you make to a fellow Israelite, whether it is money, food, or anything else that may be loaned with interest. You may charge interest to foreigners, but not to Israelites, so the Lord your God may bless you in everything you do in the land you are about to enter and occupy. When you make a vow to the Lord your God, be prompt in doing whatever you promised Him. For the Lord your God demands that you promptly fulfill all your vows. If you don't, you will be guilty of sin. However, it is not a sin to refrain from making a vow. But once you have voluntarily made a vow, be careful to do as you have said, for you have made a vow to the Lord your God. You may eat your fill of grapes from your neighbor's vineyard, but do not take any away in a basket. And you may pluck a few heads of your neighbor's grain by hand, but you may not harvest it with a sickle.